Hello, Mert Sulu. This is the practitioner, Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, and parapsych researcher. I've taken a look at your video, and um, I can pretty well tell uh, right off the bat at least about three possible ways you could have pulled that off. Um, or was it two? No, three. Um, somebody sent me your video um, checking that... Uh, saying that you were either a very clever magician or the real deal. They were pretty sure it was number one, i.e. the magician, but they couldn't figure out your method. Um, they wanted to know if it was threads or blowing. Um, I'm going to send them a message with a, a link to this video in a minute. Um, but basically, um, here's what I suspect. Let's break it down. The fact that you're moving your hands all over the place, uh, I know that, that much is going to... Threads is avoided. However, there's a couple of other major things. That's a really effing light piece of tinfoil. So... Even the slight movement of your of wind from your hands could be enough to move that to a certain extent. Heat from your hands would certainly qualify for that. Um, uh, static electricity uh, at that level, because it's tinfoil, static electricity will also uh, generate a lot of uh, will also generate a lot of force. Uh, will you know will be able to uh, make that move with relative ease, or if all else fails, just simply blowing on it. Um, I'd suspect it's probably the latter. Just uh, you know blowing on it would probably be the easiest uh, way of making it move. Again, uh, that would be what would probably be the most rational explanation in the way, in light of the way that your hands were moving. Um, threads are pretty well ruled out as would, at least for parts of it, as would static electricity because there were parts where you're pulling the hand away and it started to move in the same, in a, in a, in the same direction, uh, but, you know, or started to go back and forth. So, um, yeah, I'd probably have to say you were either using a combination of heat from the hands and blowing. Um, and blowing on it. Uh, it's an old James Heydrich trick. It's been done before. It's been debunked before. So, um, yeah. Sorry, man. This trick ain't... Uh, sorry, I'm not falling for this one. Um, yep. Anyway. Um, yeah, I pretty much said, that pretty much says it. Bye.